I mean, if you would have asked me a year ago, you know, I would have say I would have said that it's impossible. You know, people are just not used to this way of doing conferences or this way of networking or this way of consuming information. Um, but um, you know, to some degree, uh, the Corona situation is a little bit of a blessing in disguise, um, in the sense that. Uh, because of this, people and the industry have been forced to uh, to attend these events, and uh, even even this type of call that we have now, you know, that, I mean, you you guys are doing super cool job, someone with with your interviews that you are doing, but thank we wouldn't you, have you, seen, please. yeah, yeah, but we would we wouldn't have seen this before Corona, you know, because now people are used to having Skype calls, people are used to having Zoom calls to a much higher degree than than before, and the same goes for the digital events that. We are now becoming used to this being a part of the offering and this being a this being a way to consume um, information. So it's it's a lot easier now, let's say, to uh, organize these digital events just because people know what they can expect from them, and they know that uh, you know there is really great content to be had during these events. Uh, they are very interactive. It's really uh, you know fun to engage with the audience and with the other speakers and so forth. So um, it's been kind of a this it's been kind of a learning curve for the industry to get to use to these digital uh, events, and um, and uh, from from here on out it will it's now easier to then uh, convince people to actually pay attention to the events. You know.